maybe at some point you realized, I want to delete my Facebook account, but my Facebook account is my only source to get information about events, be it Brave events or community events. Micha, Max, Micha, Max and Joseph also thought about that, and then they realized that the open source mobili um, events platform, Mobilizen, needs to be more popular so that people can delete their Facebook account and use Mobilizen instead. Today, they're talking about how that is going and how Mobilizen works, and we're really glad to have, you, have them here. Well, uh, first of all, I will welcome everyone at home behind their various screens. In these weird times, um, I'm very grateful, we are very grateful to be here today and to talk a bit about a close future that we are craving for and uh, that we are already preparing with hope and confidence. Berlin, let's take back control of our events. As a small introduction, uh, this is Joseph, my name is Max, and Misha will join us later in a more digital way. Joseph is a linguist and he's a free software enthusiast and he likes to give talks like this and give workshops on crypto parties about uh, digital privacy. He will talk to you a bit about the Fidiverse and the Mobilize and how it's created and how it works. Misha is an event uh, organizer and a festival organizer and she is part of uh, the Berlin Nightlife. She knows a lot of club owners and festival organizers, and she will talk to you a bit about their problems, their hopes, and their dreams. Uh, I'm Max, and I'm an actor and a musician, and so I'm part as well of the Berlin Artistic Life, and I'm uh, part of a documentary um, that we are shooting right now as well for Arte, that's called Disappear and will come out next year. We are all based in Berlin and we are very interested in new ways of communication and uh, technology and we ask ourselves, how can we take back control of our events? I have to start um, one and a half years ago when uh, I could follow Mark. Mark is the director of um, both films Nothing to Hide and Disappear, where we wanted to find out more about mass surveillance and on how to reduce your digital footprints. I had the chance to follow Mark to the CCC, um, the Chaos Communication Camp 2019. Uh, we went there, we met obviously a lot of people, and uh, at one point we talked to Joseph, and we were, we were like, well, there are so many artists, they don't know, um, they are a bit forced into sites like Facebook and Twitter or Instagram, to just name a few, to post their events or to promote their events and that there is not really a lot of different uh, possibilities to go around that. So a lot of people stuck to Facebook just because of that. And um, then we got to know that there was another workshop organized by Reclaim Club Culture, which we, which we took part of, and a lot of other participants as well. And we really heard the needs of a lot of people that wanted a big change on that topic. So when we came back uh, from the camp, we sat down with a bunch of different artists and programmers, and we turned our head around this question. As we heard more and more about Fediverse, we were pretty sure that Fediverse could be a possibility um, to create a um, self-controlled social network of uh, different applications put together. So we got into contact with Framasoft. Framasoft is an NGO that created sites like Peertube and Mobilizen. Mobilizen, we want to talk about today, is a decentralized and federated free and open source event calendar and could be a game changer in the near future for artists and organizers to publish their events. After a meeting that we had on, um, uh, on the internet with uh, the creators of Mobilizen, we got interested in creating our own Berlin-based instant to group all the events in Berlin and to cross-post them on different platforms. 
more details on that, how, how um, instance work and uh, how Mobilizin works, uh, Joseph will give you in a minute. Um, Mobilizin right now is a demo version, so it's really the first version. And our goal is to involve both utilities and the design of uh, this page and create a new space against these big corporations. Well, so far so good. Uh, now I would give the word to Misha. So, Misha, what's going on in Berlin's underground club scene? Hi, I'm Misha. Thank you, Max, for the introduction. I'm very happy to be here today and to have the possibility to talk about Mobilizon and Fediverse as an alternative to Facebook and the Facebook event calendar. I am, among other things, an event organizer myself, and with different collectives I already hosted several club events and open airs in Berlin, and also organized and worked at different festivals in Europe and Germany. So I know how hard it is as an artist or an event organizer to promote yourself or your event successfully without an instance like Facebook. And when I ask myself or my friends who are also very critical towards Facebook, but on the other hand also active contributors to the Berlin club scene or at least regular party attendees, why they still use Facebook, they always sell, say, well, because I want to know what's going on in Berlin, I want to know where my friends are going, or they say because I need to promote myself as an artist or to promote the event that I'm organizing. So basically it comes down to the Facebook event calendar, why it is that we still didn't quit this platform that none of us really like using. So it is somehow schizophrenic that the Berlin club scene is so dependent on a platform like Facebook. It is schizophrenic because I think that the club scene not only in Berlin but also internationally has always been this little utopic island in a capitalistic and patriarchal society that tries to create a safe space for all the people who do not fit the heteronormous and heteronormative stereotypes of that society and of that system. So on parties, on techno parties, we could free ourselves anonymously and without fearing the consequences outside the club doors. And most people I work with, they still have this utopic vision of a society where everybody has equal rights, no matter their sex or their gender or their sexuality, their religion, their skin color, or where they are geographically or socially born into. And Facebook is all of this not. All of this, what we stand for, Facebook is not. Its algorithms do not allow for an autonomous choice. Um, Facebook is, and I hope I don't offend anybody by saying this because I also myself still use Facebook, but it's capitalistic, it's sexist, it allows for racism, it exploits their users and their users' data, and we still depend on it in order to pay our rent and the rents of our clubs. There was a club in Berlin that was always a lot against Facebook. And in 2019, they decided to join and wrote a huge statement uh, about their decision. And they said that on the one hand, they needed to take back the um, control of their public persona because there was already Facebook pages of that club, which they did not create themselves and they didn't know who did it. So they wanted to take back this control and other collectives and event organizers who were also hosting events at that club said, look, without Facebook and this event calendar, we cannot promote our event successfully. So they did a little analysis and it was true. The events that were promoted over Facebook and the Facebook event calendar had a lot more paying attendees than those who were promoted without Facebook. And with rising rents and running expenses in Berlin, the club was forced to join the game that they did not want to play in order to be able to pay their rent. They just could not afford it not to be on Facebook anymore. 
So now this is basically why we are here, because we want to present an alternative to a scene that has huge international attention, so maybe we can here even gather a critical mass that makes it possible to establish an alternative to Facebook. And this is Mobilizon and free, open source, independent and decentralized software. And now I would uh, yeah, like to give back to Joseph because he can now talk a little bit more about how this exactly works. Thank you very much. So thank you, Max, and thank you, Misha. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about Mobilizon and the ActivityPub protocol, both of which are in the spirit of the Reclaim Club culture movement, which is calling for more non-commercial, autonomous, free spaces in the Berlin club scene. So as Misha mentioned, many people are still using Facebook for the events, even though they don't agree with Facebook as a service. And this is because they have no choice. Facebook is a closed system. You're either in it or you're out. Facebook is proprietary, meaning that the service decides how the users use the service. Um, and the users have no, no options. Um, it's a centralized system, meaning that Facebook controls um, everything about it, including the data um, and all of the ways that they can use and abuse um, their users' data. It's not just uh, privacy issues, it's also their policies when it comes to which content is permitted on the service. So Facebook uh, is a US-based corporation with its own uh, culturally specific ideas of what's acceptable and what's family friendly. So for example, um, the moderators are told to allow racist statements, things like the US should be a white only nation. However, showing a nipple or advertising female sexual, uh, sexual well-being is problematic, while erectile dysfunction ads are okay. These are not Berlin values. Mobilizon, by contrast, it's free software. It's developed by Framasoft, a French uh, nonprofit, and it's released with a free software license, the AGPL. Um, free doesn't refer to uh, the cost, it refers to the four freedoms uh, granted by the license. That's the freedoms to use, study, share, and improve the software. In short, free software, um, users control the software in comparison to proprietary software where the software controls the users. And free software is how we can make autonomous free spaces possible in the digital world. Moreover, uh, Mobilizon is decentralized and federated. In comparison to Facebook, which is a centralized service, where Facebook controls the entire system, it decides what the terms of service are, it, de it decides how the data is used. Uh, uh, Mobilizon is a, um, gives users choice. There are a number of servers that can be part of the network, and users can choose which server has the terms of service they agree with. Um, they can decide, the users of that server can decide which instances they want to federate with. Mobilizon can do this because it's based on the ActivityPub protocol, which is an open decentralized social networking protocol for client, server, and federated server-to-server -server communication. Each of the servers is independent in the network. That means each can have their own communities, their own interests, and their own rules. ActivityPub is a standard of the World Wide Web Consortium, and you can think of it as a, a common language describing social networks, so that there's a shared vocabulary across services. And there are already many services using the ActivityPub pr protocol. You have Mastodon, which is a Twitter alternative, PeerTube, a YouTube alternative, Nextcloud, a Dropbox alternative, PixelFed, um, an Instagram alternative, all making up what's called the Fediverse, a portmanteau of federation and universe. The Fediverse is an ensemble of federated services, all of which can communicate with each other, which means that if you're using one service, such as uh, Mastodon, you can publish posts, shares, and likes with any other service that are part of the Fediverse um, uh, services. 
since Mastodon and Mobilizon speak the same language, a Mastodon follow, uh, user, which is like Twitter, can follow events on Mobilizon, even if they don't have an account with Mobilizon. They can comment on the events in Mobilizon, again, even if they don't have an account with Mobilizon. This would be like a Twitter user following Facebook events, um, even without a Facebook account. This enables autonomy, self-determination, and user choice across a giant social network with no walled gardens. In this way, the content is separate from the platforms. As Max already mentioned, uh, Mobilizon is uh, still in development. The first version was released in October. There are other event management software um, services that are looking to implement ActivityPub, for example, GetTogether. Uh, but at the moment, as far as we know, Mobilizon is the only one that's uh, done this. If you want to uh, take a, a test run of Mobilizon without committing to it, you can go to their demo, demo.mobilizon.org. Um, all the data is deleted after uh, 24 hours. You can set up a profile, set your user settings. You can take a look at how the federated identity works. Um, it looks a lot like an email address. You can explore, find out, for example, that there's a talk today uh, about Mobilizon at the CCC. The main reason that we're here today is because we want to rally Berliners to start using Mobilizon. And to, to encourage that, uh, Max, Misha, uh, and some other people are setting up a server in Berlin for Berlin for Berlin clubs and the Berlin scene. To do this, we have a volunteer systems administrator to maintain the server. We have a programmer that's working on cross-posting so that if an event appears in Facebook, it also appears in Mobilizon. We have a volunteer organizer to found an association, collect donations to maintain the server over a longer period of time. And we have a couple of interested club and event organizers and several users. What we want and what we need, we need more event organizers. And most importantly, we need more users. We need a critical mass to break out of the vicious cycle that users won't use it until there are events, but event managers won't use the service until there are users. This network effect can only be broken if enough people start using it. We're looking for contributors to help write a Mobilizon Berlin terms of service. We want this to be an instance that reflects Berlin values. We're looking for designers to help uh, design an, a user interface with a Berlin flavor. It's free software, so we can control the server. We can contribute back to the project. And eventually, we want to see more Mobilizon instances both in Berlin and around the world. Well, how could you, can you get involved with us and in this project? Uh, first of all, you could uh, join our mailing list and contribute to the project um, at lists.posteo.de slash listinfo slash mobilizon.berlin. And you can join a um, Mobilizon instance. Here you see the instances at instances.joinmobilizon.org slash instances. And for sure, you can contact us directly and work with the Berlin community. And for sure, this is all small steps. So it can take a while for people to know about this and to move over to Mobilizon and get this thing going. Well, we thank you all very much uh, for listening and uh, watching, and we hope you stay safe and you have a good night already. Thanks a lot for the talk. We have some questions. Um, the first question is a hint and a question. Somebody's um, suggesting suggesting to link Mobilizon to was geht ab, was geht heute ab .de, which apparently is a Berlin German event site. Is that possible? Are there any plans to link it up to other sites, or is it only possible to link it up within a federated Fediverse network? The website, if they're using the ActivityPub protocol, it's certainly possible to federate 
with them, and I would be very interested to contact them and see if there's any ways that there could be some collaboration. I mean, it seems like this is very much in, in the spirit of what we're trying to do. So, yes. Okay, dear people asking that, just write him an email and you'll, you'll just get in contact. Next question. Are there plans to grow or groups in a club slash event context in other cities in Germany already interested in establishing slash using mobilization in Munich? Uh, well, as we said, we try first to, to do this instant uh, in Berlin, but it's more like to show other people that it's possible and that we hope uh, that other cities uh, will follow uh, the Berlin instance and can contact us on how, how it works and how they should do it. And mobilizing in such, um, you can go wherever you are, you can visit it and you can check events from other cities. But uh, this incident is really then based on, on these Berlin events that we are trying to, to, um, to get people together here for these events. Okay, thank you. Contact us because certainly they can learn from our mistakes um, if, if they decide to do something similar in Munich or perhaps there's ways that there could be some collaboration. I'm sure there's overlapping interests and uh, ways that we could work together. Okay, so you also just write him an email. Um, then as a third question, in a federated network, who would be responsible for moderating hate speech or illegal content? Yes, yeah, so this would be up to the instances themselves. So each uh, server um, can decide with which other servers they want to federate with. And there actually is some precedence for this. There was in 2014 with the, the Diaspora network, um, which is using not the ActivityPub protocol, but the Diaspora protocol but it's a similar uh, federation of servers. And there was a problem where ISIS um, uh, uh, was spreading propaganda after they were kicked off other social networks in the diaspora network. And um, the server administrators, the uh, systems administrators, um, effectively cut them out of the larger federation, uh, marginalizing them. You can't stop them from setting up their own servers, of course, but you can stop them from them communicating with the larger network. But that's going to depend on the systems administrators um, or the people running the, the various instances. But this is, I mean, this is something that I would say is a, a, a feature of this federation that you're not letting Twitter or Facebook decide what is okay and what's not okay. There are a lot of things that Twitter allows that I would say um, if I were running Twitter, I would not allow. Um, and this kind of federated network actually gives that possibility to decide that. Cool. I think that sounds really good. And maybe it's the first starting point for replacing Facebook. That's so. In all the world. <laughs> um, we're a bit over the time, so I think we're going to stop it here now. As always, there's the discussion room at discussion.rc3.ou.social where you're welcome to join, and then you can talk to them and have more follow-up questions and maybe um, oh there's another question that, that just came in is there an api to send events on mobilize on instance from another platform uh yes as far as i know yes but that's you can look there's uh, the mobilize on the activity pub protocol which would be um, what would be relevant here would be you can go to the the World Wide web consortium and they have a full um explanation of of the details behind the protocol Okay, so maybe that's something for the discussion room. Um, just go there if you have, uh, have any other questions. Uh, we will uh, proceed shortly with another talk on open source. Thanks a lot, guys, for having this talk and being Thank you here very today. Much. Thank you.